so we have a special guest today, but they can't introduce themselves because cutscenes right away. <laughs> I mean, you, you can still talk over the cutscene though. Hey, I'm special. Oh. <laughs> Julia, what? Am I okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. High five, thumbs up. I feel okay. Good. I feel good. Give me a hug. Julia, I'm not a zombie. <laughs> Yay. Good for you. Oh, no. Your life is one of horror. <laughs> oh, I had to! Oh, God! Oh, fuck! Oh, God! Where's my fucking body? This is a legitimate oh, question. Fuck. Don't get mad! I didn't know what to do! Yeah, seriously. This is important. How am I still talking? Without a I want to know Threat? why the little tie is there. Because it's absolutely necessary. It's really hard. And I don't we... to be a jerk, but I think maybe... Yeah, okay, sure. ...appreciation is in order. If I didn't chop off your head, the venom would have totally seeped into your brain and turned you into a... Okay, how long does that take, the venom to brain thing? Uh... Who knows? Who cares? Just depends on what your lore is and, like, where they bit you. Well, uh... Um? Is the tie part of the magical ritual? It's a good question. Is that like a spell component? Um, maybe. <laughs> yeah, what are the verbal and sonomatic components? One head, one tiny little novelty tie. Zombies! I like how it has a special pull through just for the tie. I'm a zombie. Did he originally have that uh, tie? I, or is that I a new thing? I think he did. I think this is the tie he okay. was wearing when he was tr going to meet her, yes. Oh! Maybe she she got him the tie or something. It has sentimental value. <laughs> Don't hate me! Kind of a zombie hunter. Oh, come on! What the fuck is going on? So. <laughs> so. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Oh, hey, I'm Jenner. I I show up in things sometimes. Yeah. Really. So. Uh. Yo. Jenner, what's your experience with this game, aside from having watched this video once already? You told me that I would really enjoy this game if I really enjoy being offended. I'm not offended yet, so... <laughs> well, I mean, there's nothing really bad in this video. How did you not get hit by I that door? I can test that. You're standing right next to that door. I can just sit there. He slams the door <laughs> yeah, open. Can... I can... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I can just there are three separate horrible things in this video. <laughs> and I will point them out as they appear. I do not regret you having to sit through all of this. <laughs> Whoop. Something exploded. What the hell was that? Heat it up. Hey! It's Mr. Fitzgibbon! That's not very polite to say, Mr. Fitzgibbon. Rude. Very, very rude. So, like, is this what the Japanese think what American schools are like, minus the zombie thing? This is more or less my high school experience, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, this is their idea. Well, I didn't wear a skirt most of the time, but it's pretty much <laughs> wrong. Most of the time. This is their idea of American high school. I, I only got a D minus in Zombie 101, so I, I wouldn't know if this is exactly how the class goes. But... Like, zombie... Like, they didn't even offer Zombie Survival 101 in my high school. I had to take... Oh, fuck, I don't even remember what I had to take instead of Zombie Survival. It probably, like, Tool Shop or something. I know! Actually, my Zombie Survival class just came right after Shop class. Which is <laughs> <laughs> that works, because you can just bring the See, tools so with you. So we learn how to make a shiv, and then we would use it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is sparkle hunting? Perfect! Uh, sparkle hunting is when you kill three or more zombies at the same exact time. See, this can't be American high school because there's not enough guns. There's no guns. I know, when I went to your place, it was just covered from wall to wall in guns. All America is guns. That is the one thing you can know about America. If there are no guns, it's not America. That's some whack shit! I live in the South, so basically everything is guns. <laughs> like, most things are made of guns. There is, like, an 8 to 10 student gun radio. radio. <laughs> I'm waiting for a gun to run for office. That will win. The school uniform is guns. <laughs> oh, and I I mentioned this in a cutscene, but then I realized I was going to have to cut it out. But there is a move that the zombies will do if you don't push circle fast enough to get them off of you. 
and that is they will force you onto the floor and just pile up on you and start, like, eating you. That's delicious. That's tasty and refreshing. Yeah. Everything about this so far has not offended me. Still wanted you to know, not offended yet. For, for right now, this is just your standard hack and slash fare. Now here you have two choices of which room to enter, and one room has a student you need to save, and the other just has three zombies in it, so... And you choose to go chainsaw a bunch of lockers instead. Well, yeah, because it's not on a time-based thing. You can spend as much time as you want out here, and they'll still be fine. Basically, lockers are the new freaks. What is up yeah. with the lockers? I don't know, they're all sorts of different sizes and everything. My theory is that Kalon has repressed memories from high school that he is taking out on these lockers. Well, and it's also, they're filled with money. I fucked up my so... And most, in high school, they were mostly just filled with Kalon. Whoa! And drugs. Whoa, dude. And guns. Can't forget that. And guns. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drugs and guns. Now, whichever room you enter second, something special happens, and you want to enter the room where... It's gift where uh the teacher guy yeah, this, yeah. yeah the te you don't want to enter the room with the fucking student you need to save because it makes saving the student much harder when you have to deal with uh Fitzgibbon here. Fitzgibbon got a desk. Yeah. Now you'd think that's no match for our chainsaw, but <laughs> it's a magic desk. <laughs> it's a super magic desk. It's made of mahogany. <laughs> Though these are like science tables, they got the little squirty things on them for water or whatever. I don't faucets, whatever. Those are the technical <laughs> terms of squirty things for our viewers. Squirty things, okay. I mean, you knew it was going to be a good day in science class when instead of sitting at the desks, they all made you go stand around the science tables. They're like, yeah, oh, we're going to yeah. do stuff. <laughs> oh, the best, the best day in science class ever was when you got to burn magnesium strips. Oh, that was the coolest. Magnesium burns good. Yeah, I like when they put <laughs> potassium in water and made it all, like, explode and stuff. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. One time, my teacher uh, did that thing. I forget which chemicals it is, but you put them, you mix them into each other, and it just turns into a black ash tower or whatever. Some goon is going to uh, post in the thread when you post I know. it, and it's going to goon say... I think it's... Chemistry chat only like. after this post, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably something sodium. Sodium is, yeah. like, weird. Okay, so when you hurt Fitzgibbon enough, he actually loses his desk, and this makes him much easier to deal with. Deal with it. Look like it. I like how he responds to losing his desk. He doesn't go pick it back up. He just gives up on it. Oh, my. <laughs> Yay, camera oh, angles. Oh, no, my desk. Not a C-. minus. No. <laughs> the worst thing. The worst thing. See, I could understand strapping bombs to dead people, but they're not even going after anybody. They're just opening up more level to you. So it's it's kind of helpful in its own way. Yeah, it didn't really do anything. Yeah. It just kind of blew a part of a window up. Hey, remember how we were talking about guns? Here they are. Oh finally. man, the police. Oh no, those are guns. students. Well, never mind. Guns don't kill oh, people, oh. zombies do. And that's a bus. Well, buses are strong against guns. That is indeed a bus. Yeah, I, I remember the last time I played Pokemon, the bus types were super effective against the gun types. <laughs> what is up with this over here? This, this looks... Oh, this is a fun and amazing game mechanic. It's known as a so, quick time event. Uh, I'd just like to point out, can't go through a disc goes right through rebar. So true. <laughs> we need to break that was a special magically enchanted death. Yeah, right. I don't have a hand to give. Well, not yet. It had the Miss Fitzgibbon's essence and printed into it. There you go. Maybe I can Which is why he became so easy to beat after he The boss it. wasn't Fitzgibbon. The boss was the desk. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> what you do is you strap Nick's head onto a body and it's the quick time event. And here I mess up on purpose to show that, yeah, you can mess up a couple times on these quick oh, oh time events. Oh boy, I love on quick purpose, time sure. events so much. Press X not to die. 
That was legit on it purpose. It was an amazing propane tank throw right there. Yeah. Just shove it right in front of... I uh, really... Quick time events just need to go away. <laughs> like, as a whole, they need to stop. Yeah. They were never fun, they will never be fun. <laughs> Let me tell you about the point where I stopped playing Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> I had just been given the mission to go kill this bear. Apparently it was like some super murder bear who had killed like hundreds of people and I needed to kill it before it destroyed the entire world. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm set to go track down its lair and on the way there I'm jumped by literally every bear in the country. Seven bears like one after time and to kill a bear in Assassin's Creed 3 you have to do four quick time events. Three or four somewhere That's in there. fucking Point ridiculous. Is, it is ridiculous. Quick. And... So I get to jump by seven bears in a row, and I'm just like, God damn, these bears! Why are there so many bears here? And then I get to the little assassin bear cave, and I go in, and I have to do another quick time event to kill that bear, because he is also a bear. <laughs> and it's that point where I'm just like, this is bullshit, and I go in to turn the quest, and my... My PS3 locks up. No! And I come back, and I have to kill the bear again. Oh. I'm just like, fuck this! And <laughs> I stop playing Assassin's Creed 3. Why were you killing a bear? You're an assassin. Leave that to hunters. I said it was like a, a crazy murder bear. It was like an assassin bear. I don't also, know what was up with it. It killed 500 it people. It was like Yogi picnic basket bullshit. Also saving the student's bullshit because you have to run through the entire hallway and by the time you get to him, he's half dead. So, good luck saving him on hard if you're playing this for the first time. Are you not playing it on hard? Awesome! No, I'm playing it on you normal. Are, you are not pro. No, I am pro. I'm doing a hard mode later. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does she have to announce what the superpower is before she uses it? Yes, and Nick Toss is you swing Nick's head around like a fucking... Wait, ball. wait, is Hey Mickey playing? Stop, hold on. Is yeah, hey, hey Mickey plays every time you activate a power-up. Every time. <laughs> it's pretty much the best thing. It's pretty much... Yeah. I wouldn't call that the best thing. <laughs> but it is definitely a thing. <laughs> By the way, I, 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 I was going to say during your bear story, I had to... Uh, that uh, skinning a bear aggro's every bear, so that it makes sense. It basically does. <laughs> What's he doing to Tim? Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Bears have solidarity, my friend. I've I've never played I've never played Assassin's Creed past the second one, the first second one. Everybody's like, everybody's just revenging Tim. And Tim's like, don't let me poke. Don't let anyone close me get on my. <laughs> So is sparkle hunting just instant death to all zombies? Uh, if you activate sparkle hunting mode, then yes. Uh, you can force sparkle hunting by getting them weak enough and then doing a regular heavy attack, but if you purposefully go into that power-up thing, just any heavy attack you do will just instantly kill any zombie, except for bosses. It's a cop. It's a lot. That is still a cop. Yep. Zombie cop with a lightsaber, apparently. It's yep. a rave stick. Now, z <laughs> Yeah, zombie cops are fucking annoying because they will shoot you and the shots will actually stun lock you. Oh. And, yeah, and then he'll just keep shooting you until you fall down. And then when you get back up, he'll just resume shooting you. So, sure. fuck that. I just bashed him into a wall and then cut off his head. That is a pro strat. No! Oh no, well, rest in peace, that guy. Rip person. <laughs> Rip person. Alright, so... Zombies with dynamite strapped to them, if you hit them once, they just start chasing after you like fucking dumbasses and then explode. Nice. You get... You get a couple of 
bonus zombie medals if you manage to actually kill them before they explode. Can you kite them? But it's a buff. Oh my god! Oh, it is a buff. What is this? I want to point out there's not a whole lot of strategy involved with the whole strap yourself full of dynamite. There's not a lot you can do with that other than chase after the guy like a moron. Pretty much, <laughs> yes. Your options are basically don't blow up and blow up. <laughs> well, there is no don't blow up option even. This is true. There's just blow up and then also blow up. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so in order to save this student the easy way, you hit one of the dynamite dudes and then run over to the other zombies and then they'll just there blow them There you go. Yeah, kiting them. Pro. So delicious. What do the lollipops do? Uh, they restore one half your health. Oh, okay. Like... No matter what your max health is, because you can buy health upgrades, lollipops will always heal one half of your maximum health. Uh, still not offended, by the way. Oh, is this give it school time. just made out of explosions or what? <laughs> They're made out of explodium. This very yes. special refined element. What I want to know is how did these bombs... Well, it's a bad choice to make schools out of, I guess. <laughs> how did these bombs get on these zombies? It's not like they can put them on themselves. Most things just go with concrete and rebar, for good uh, reason. Jenner, the answer to that will be actually revealed next episode. Oh, okay. But unfortunately, it's kind of spoilery, so oh. I'll tell you after the video. Fine. Because Ape's already seen it. <laughs> Alright. I don't know where I was going with that. I like that it's all pink and sparkles. Usually when I say all right, it's because I'm about to say something informative. But that time... I all know. right, I hate lockers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lockers suck. Although, what the hell? Why are these lockers so huge? Uh, they're for stuffing nerds in. Don't you remember American High School? We stuffed nerds in those lockers. Okay. Oh, yeah, Kaelon's got experience with that. <laughs> no, no, please don't. No, no, the flashbacks! The PTSD. No, nope, sorry. No, oh, I don't want to go in! I just want to go in Miss Baird's class! Look <laughs> at guy's face. His head turned an amazing angle there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impressive. I'll be back for you! You can chop through doors, but not that door. Got it. Right. Oh, and here's where if you would get offense offended anywhere in this video, it's probably gonna be here. And immediately after too. <laughs> yeah. These are two of the offensive parts that I mentioned earlier. There's one right there. Yeah, how dare she not yep. whoa. This this <laughs> has potential. Okay, so pole dancing <laughs> with a chainsaw! The zombies just fucking walk right into it, too. It's amazing. Well, they want to get in on the show. Zombies are attempting to tip you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's offensive number one, Dan. Well... I thought the other... Okay, not offended, but... I got video. Nice. On YouTube. <laughs> Every... Talk, if you don't run into the other two students like idiots, they say other stuff too, but I forget to ever show that off. It's not that interesting. Stop! Oh yeah, that's right, if fire zombies hug bomb zombies or anybody wearing a bomb, then they explode. Ray. That that sounds like a fantastic mechanic that will not get really, really annoying really, really fast. Actually, uh, it's not that bad. Sometimes you can actually use it to your advantage too. You know, I'm kind of with Nick here. We can absolutely just let them die. Yeah, there's nothing stopping us. Absolutely. But then you don't get the secret unlockable bonus ending when you, if you let a student die. No, we totally should have let that guy die. Fuck. Yeah. Him. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's a, that's number two. That's the by kind the way. of information I like to hear. That was number three, and number two, number one happened earlier. Number one was the stripper pole. Number two was that particular dude. I like I okay. like how Nick is just like, yeah, me too, but I don't have a thorax. <laughs> now, this quick time event right here is actually not all that bad because it's just nothing but X. Watch me, Nick! It's this is not random actually. It is always X every time. 
Some Mario stuff right here. I feel like a one-up should pop yeah, exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Resident... Not Resident Evil. I said that last time, too. I... Fucking, uh, Evil Dead reference. Yeah. I flunked out of dramatic posing 101, so I don't know. Yeah, where are we going? Oh, uh, spe speaking of Evil Dead, there's actually a, uh... It's fucking, like, Kenshiro. Remember Kenshiro? No. A sensei? But speaking of Kenshiro... I didn't know you spoke Japanese, Nick! Kenshiro's the... I forget the anime he's in, but he just basically punches dudes like a million times, and he's like, you're already dead, and then they explode. Okay. Well, and it's the best thing ever. Innocence is one of the most attractive and then he did it to a tank in the first episode. There was a... Spe there was a... A pre-order bonus, if you pre-ordered this at GameStop, where you could have Juliet cosplaying as Ash from Evil Dead. Ash, that was definitely That's a pretty great. That would be pretty great, but then you would have to give money to GameStop. <laughs> Who does that? That's not great. And seriously, like, fuck GameStop. Yeah, I'm with you on that. And no, you cannot cut this particular soda machine for month extra money. Which is weird, because you can usually cut soda machines for money, but not ones laying on their side, apparently. They've already been destroyed. You get the money by destroying them. Strawberry's my favorite! Okay. Fair enough. Uh, okay. How can Nick read that? It says zombie basketball. Very carefully. Also, notice the blood disappeared off of those recycling well, bins like when I cut it. facing the exact opposite way Juliet is. How could he reach it? He just... Behind. Yeah. What? Maybe he sees through some magical time differential. I don't know. Zombies. How many okay, so this is zombie basketball. I'm awful at zombie basketball. <laughs> One heavy attack will kill off most of the enemies here. And you can score two or three points, just like in real basketball, by... Chopping their heads into the basket. Basketball. Just don't throw my head. So who set this up? Was it the zombies? Cause I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's that guy in the next video. Goaltending, okay. my god. <laughs> but you need to get 101 points or 102 points. The game just automatically ends after that. Nice. So. You have so three... at minimum, you need to kill 34 zombies. Okay. At minimum, and at that's if minimum. you get nothing but three can, pointers. Can you dunk? No. That's stupid. Well, that is just a waste. That is yeah, terrible. Zombie... That, that's... That, I wish there was some sort of dunking mechanic. Okay, so there are these cheerleader zombies that come up. Cheerleader zombies are awful, and I hate fighting them regular, regularly. So I just fucking sparkle hunt them every time. The reason they're assholes... It's because after enough heavy attacks, you just straight up chop the, off their legs and they start walking around on their hands. And then after more heavy attacks, you chop off their hands and they just start crawling towards you. And it's that awful. That sounds creepy. Yeah. They were once her friends, too, because she's a cheerleader. I know anything about American High School. It's that all cheerleaders are best friends or some shit. Yeah. I was not a cheerleader. It, it. Oh, and look, there, there they are doing the hands. Oh, dance. nice. <laughs> Stop it! That's creepy. Stop it. <laughs> how they're walking on their pom poms. That's not how pom poms work. Yep. Wow, what a turn! It is in Suda Fifty One Land. Incredible game, Juliet. Can't wait to see you in action again. Who? How is the announcer not dead? Um, next video. Spoilers. Oh, okay. Because spoilers. Yeah. There's a pop machine. So this room's kind of innocuous. Oh, oh wait. Oops. Giant man child strapped in dynamite. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Juliet is an expert on man children. We need to get out of here. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. It's such a common occurrence that we can actually hate. Action roll. You know, some fat mo man child moron just walks into the room and explodes, and everybody <laughs> else is just kind of like. Uh, that happens all the time in high school. I know. It happened every time. Nick Shake, I buy later, and then I realize I did not use for almost the entire LP. So, uh, look forward to the part where I go, oh shit, I haven't shown this off yet, and panic off and try to, and try to show it off. I'm so excited <laughs> for that. Stoked. 
I'm super excited. I am stoked. <laughs> I might even say hyped. And there's really no rhyme or reason to the upgrades that I'm buying. I kind of know which the be what the best combos are already, so I try to go for those. And then if with whatever money I have left over, I buy strength upgrades and health upgrades, pretty much. Band zombies. Awesome. I adore you. Does she have to say it twice? I adore you. Uh, for some reason the game likes to make her say the same sound sound clip twice. She's supposed to say something different, and she does about half of the time, and the other t half of the time she just repeats what she already said. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, door busting. Definitely some gun of chemistry class. Close as biology, it, actually. It, she has a little Wind Waker thingy. It might be band camp. I don't know what you're talking about at all. I forget, like a conductor's rod, I think is what it's called. Oh, oh, I think this is yeah. band. Baton. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know anything about band. It, comp it was uh, band, it was band or the gun club, so, you know, what my choice was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, who would not choose gun club over band? I'll tell you. Fucking nerds, that's who. My school, they were the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had your school. <laughs> oh god. I didn't even get zombie hunting, and then this happens. Ugh. Ow. That is never gonna make me not feel Maybe it's a pointer. Yeah, that's... Maybe it's like for pointing on the board. Maybe. How does a headless zombie still live? That's kind of the rules about zombies. It's very careful and with magic. There are types of zombies that just like literally immortal unless you incinerate them. Okay, I guess oh, that works. So wait, well, Nick, enjoy this reminder of what you used to be. <laughs> yeah. Never again will you have a body. Enjoy your nightmare thoraxless life. Except for all the times we, sh except for all the times we shove him on other other bodies, but he'll never have a permanent body again. Okay, so remember how much assholes that uh, zombie cops are, right? Well, combine that with the fact that named zombies are stronger versions of the zombies that they are supposed to be, and I just did not want to deal with her shit, so I just slammed her into a wall, and then chopped her head off. Because slamming zombies into walls makes them automatically groggy, and when they're groggy, you can just auto-kill them with a heavy attack. Yay! Yep. Keep it. Fuck the police. She kicks open every door. It's okay to kill cops if they're zombies, kids. Yep. Things I learned from this game. Also, things I learned from this game, chainsaws, great melee weapons. <sighs> it bothers me because it only makes the revving chainsaw noise when you swing it, and if it was an active chainsaw, it would be making it all the time. Yeah, but she has a special magic chainsaw that plays Hey Mickey when you kill enough zombies. <laughs> so. And it's also a cell phone. Oh yeah, that's right, we forgot to mention, it has a phone built into it. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> she knows how to accessorize. <laughs> At least he's curious about your well-being. Yep. Now, stronger zombies, when you kill them in sparkle hunting, give you more gold zombie medals. Ah. So, if I really want, if I was willing to risk it, I would have just let these guys run up to the suicide bombers and then hug them and then uh, do a heavy attack. But I didn't think I had enough time left, so I just went for the bombers. Gotcha. Oh well. Yeah. He's so courteous. So concerned about it. I know. He's a carry. Oh shoot! He has a guitar. I'm closing the door, dude. Yeah. Um. These are. Uh. I forget what kind. What they're technically called, but I just call them musician zombies. They use their guitars as axes, and occasionally, if you heavy attack them as they're swinging down their guitar, you'll get into a uh, into a fight with them, and you have to just mash triangle in order to win. So like a blade lock thing. 
Oh, ah, yeah, uh, God. Much. Oh. That. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, uh, and again, in case you missed the first time, that just happened. Okay, these guys, complete, utter asshole dickwads. They spew toxic barf at you, and then when you get them to low enough health, they will throw their propane tanks at you, and propane tanks deal a lot of damage! Propane and propane accessories. I sell propane and propane accessories. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> He's got a pretty good uh, hand kill. Sometimes I just go on to, like, public first FPS servers and just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bobby! Uh, or something. God dang it, Bobby! Yes, that is, that is how it works. 